Here's the circuit with a 6 volt cell connected in series with an ammeter and a resistor. If I add a voltmeter across the terminals of the cell, I can measure the voltage that the cell supplies to the circuit. We can call this the terminal potential difference, or terminal PD. What you might find strange is that if you set up the circuit, the voltmeter might read maybe 5.7 volts. Why is the terminal PD lower than the available 6 volts of the cell? That's because some of the 6 volts is lost within the cell. So we can write this. The total available voltage is equal to the voltage in the circuit plus the voltage lost in the cell. But there are special names for these. The total available voltage is known as the EMF. The voltage in the circuit is the terminal PD. The voltage lost in the cell is the lost volt. But why is there a lost volt in the cell? That's because the cell has an internal resistance. So we can redraw our diagram of a cell to include the idea of internal resistance. Here is a perfect cell, and here is the internal resistor. Everything in this box represents a cell with internal resistance. And don't forget, voltage is equal to current times resistance. So the EMF is equal to the current in the circuit times the load resistance, capital R, plus the current times internal resistance. We can factor out current to get EMF is equal to current times the load resistance plus the internal resistance.